<clears throat> so we're going to start by adding the conditions to our steps here. Uh, and what I want to do now is create a destroy step so that I can have both build and I can have the uh, destroy command there for me. So I'm going to use a little bit of what I have already uh, in the past. Let me just format this a little better. And here I'm going to change from apply to destroy and my variable. I'm going to see if uh, GitHub Actions here uh, can give me the right syntax, but it just gave me the same. So I'm just going to change the variable name to destroy here. That way I can build it. Now that I have the steps and as you can see I set it as false or I'm sorry I'm setting it as true because I, I only want to run that when the uh, variable is uh, equals to true uh, I don't want to run that when the variable is false that way I can just run the plan or just a build all right uh, so I'm gonna commit this then after committing I'm going to go into my pipeline uh, this is the pipeline that I'm building here and I'm going to edit the pipeline and I'm going to start adding the uh, variables to it. So as we saw on the left here, I have a step or I have a condition that says uh, variable build true. I'm going to let the users override it. So when you run the pipeline, you can set it to true. Uh, and I'm doing the same thing with destroy. I'm creating a variable called destroy and I'm going to set it to false. But I'm going to allow uh, anybody that runs it to override that variable. All right, you can see it here. Uh, they're both set to false. I'm just going to run the stage for build. That way I can see it. Uh, once I expand that, whoops, I didn't name the stage correctly. So we'll just have to watch it. I'll fix it on the next run. But uh, as you can see, the plan did run and the uh, two tasks, the build and the destroy didn't run because these two were false. These two variables were set to false. So as you can see here, uh, it skipped it because the condition uh, wasn't met. All right. So that is the first one that allows me to run the plan. Uh, I'm going to change the display name of the stage. That way it can display correctly. And now I have destroy there. I'm going to name this terraforming. That way build is a little misleading. I'm not always going to be building. I could be planning or destroying. So I set that to terraform i'm going to commit this up and we're going to try it again uh, maybe let's do it with a build so let's set yeah let's set destroy to true um, instead of build because i have already uh, the network done here so i'm setting the variable of destroy to true and i'm going to run this pipeline all right so let's expand the build for the stage that's the tf build thought i renamed that to, oh no not the build yeah I, I renamed the stage to terraforming right so here you go so the plan ran the build was skipped due to the condition and now we're running the terraform destroy so this is going to take down a couple of subnets and vnets that i had created in my cloud account uh, if we go to my Azure account, let's go to the VNets and let's see if we can catch it before it's destroyed. Well, no, we couldn't. So it's already destroyed, uh, which is good. It, it ran fast. Uh, so let me look back at the pipeline. Uh, yeah, it looks like it's finishing up. Um, so let's give it a minute here. There we go. And it completed. So, but here we go. So I did the uh, the plan and it did the destroy. So now let's go and do the build. Uh, let's set this to true and we'll go full circle. We did the plan, we did a destroy, and now we're going to build a VNet and we're going to build a couple of subnets here in, uh, in my Azure account. So right now we should see the plan and we should see that it skips the uh, destroy. All right, let's see. So right now we're running the plan. Uh, that ran successfully. That's looking good. And then let's look at the variables again. Uh, so again, I have build set to true, destroyed to false. So right now we see the subnets and the vnets are getting built. 
if I go back, uh, let's look at my resource group. I called it, or let's go to VNets, yeah. Um, I still just see one. If I refresh, there it is. There's the second one. And I should start seeing subnets here again created. Uh, so that's good. I'm creating all my subnets here. And great. My build ran. The destroy was skipped. And as you can see, we're all good now. So once again, we did the three steps. We did plan, we did build, and we did destroy. And we didn't have to change the pipeline. We just toggled the uh, variables at the Azure DevOps uh, level. I have another video on this uh, on how to do the same thing with GitHub Actions. So make sure you check it out. I'll add the link here uh, for your pipelines. All right. Have a good one.